And today I got a little different video. I've uh, been looking into solar and some solar charging and, uh, <laughs> well, I got into doing battery harvesting. picked up a bunch of these battery cells from uh, Battery Hookup. They are not sponsored, but uh, I wanted to kind of go over the process that I've been using for battery harvesting. So, uh, first of all, these are the um, uh, Samsung slash Sony 18650 2400 Ma cell modem batteries they sell for a dollar 30 a piece um today is uh may 22nd 2020 and i purchased everything they had left i think i got 190 or 200 of these so um i just want to kind of show you the process i go through of taking these out you can see here's the sony cells here's the samsung cells those are from a different harvest and these actually came in the same pack. These are 2600 Ma um, LGs. So uh, some people say Ma, some people say milliamp hour, but all of these have uh, this tape on them so they don't short out. So, and what I wanted to mainly show you was the uh, Sony cells, they come out very clean. Well, that's abnormal, but uh, that's very abnormal. I can't believe I didn't notice that. But most of them come out very, very clean. I mean, I can go right here, grab a couple more, and they come out really, really clean. So, uh, but the Samsung cells, they do not. They always come out dirty. You can see right here where I scraped the black gunk off of it. So I'm gonna open up a couple of these um, and uh, see what we got in them. Hopefully there's some Samsung cells so I can show you how I go through and clean them. Um, I probably will be wrapping all of the Samsungs. I doubt I'll be wrapping any of the Sonys just because they're too clean. I mean, if I've got a damaged one, I will. So first of all, what I do is I take a knife and there's a seam all the way around. You see the seam. So I'll take my knife and I will... score that all the way around. I probably should get one a little bit more comfortable in my hand since I've got so many. That's good enough. Now what you can't see is my box below. Uh, <laughs> um, I've already emptied it a couple times. I went through 100, 150 packs already. And you can see on that seam that I just simply split that seam. That's all I did. And we got another Sony pack. So as long as you cut that on, on that line, it should open up really, really easy. I opened up uh, all of these right here. They were uh, uh, another modem. That's the other thing I want to tell you about. Make sure that you do not have your hand like this while prying because you will jab yourself in the finger. So just FYI. But... Uh, so I'll hold it right here, and if I didn't cut all the way through that, it won't open. Right. It should open up a lot easier. Sometimes these, sometimes these can be a little pistol. Alright. So, as you can see, the black gunk uh, that's still in there. It's not on this particular battery. I'm not going to finish this one off. I want to find a Samsung to finish off and show you. All right, so I'm back. And I'll speed the video back up for your pleasure. It'll still take me the same amount of time.
As you can see, I've got my fing my my hand in between there. Ah, oh, finally. See the black goop. So what's going on here is I'm not for sure of the uh, the cell cover or the shrink wrap that's on this cell, but it's really shiny, really slick. This one is a PVC. It's very, worst word I should say, um, it's not slick at all. So next, what I have to do is I have to pull up this BMS. Watch where you put your screwdriver. I go down to the very tip, the edge of the battery, and then I, I simply pry up. That unlocks it without tearing up the, sh the shrink. And then I like to try to get as much of that adhesive off as I can to know whether I need to re-shrink them or not. All right, so now this is the inside of your battery pack. This is your BMS connector. So what I do is I pull the tape off, stick it on the BMS, and you got a piece of tape down here as well. If I'd get a little bit better in frame for you guys. All right, then I have these little side cutters. I bought them from Harbor Freight. They have a lifetime warranty, but they cut really close to the edge. So I'll cut the, the copper wire at the edge. Then come up here. Be very careful. You don't want to short those out. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, so now we have our cell, our two tabs, and our bottom. So what I do is I take my same cutters, is I simply pull up on it. Then I take my cutters and I will trim the sharp edges, because otherwise that will slice your finger open. I don't know how well it shows up on the camera, but now let me show you. See those little prongs? Yeah, it's like little tiny razor blades. So I, I get in there and I trim those off. But what I, what I normally do, once I go through all this, is I take the top of them and I sand them down. And I sand the bottom of them down, make them flat again. This way, we don't have an issue. Then I'll take this tab. Now this sticky stuff typically sticks to the top and bottom. You'll get some that won't and some that will. Depends on how old the cell is, you know, how much heat it was involved in. You know, it's, it still could be a zero cycle cell and still that adhesive will stick. Then you'll have your insulator between. And there's your Samsung cell. Samsung cell. Then what I like to do is take them and pull them apart. Sometimes you'll get a good clean pull. Now you see why the Samsungs are a pain in the booty. Try to clean those off, make sure they're somewhat smooth without slicing my fingers. Now, we're, we're left with a goop and this. Now if we we'll go back and look as we pull that off, see those little, those are just like little razor blades. Um, I, I shouldn't be holding this up like this. I do have safety glasses on, so make sure you protect your eyes. Recommend doing it down below your head, but I want to try to get this in frame so you guys can see it. I got most of that off. Uh, redoing. But let me show you what I do. Now, I normally do this over my trash can, but since I... Uh, let me move the camera. All right, that's a little bit better. So what I'll do is, is I'll take my knife. Now it's sharp, but then I, I'll take little small slices at a certain angle. See right there? It cut that cell. And I just take little small cuts. All right, let's see here. 
All right, I'm gonna finish cleaning that up and I'll be right. I figured that I would just speed up the process here of cleaning this up or I'm not sure if I'm gonna speed it up or slow it down, but I decided we'll go ahead and clean this all up right here in front of you. Some people may be okay with keeping that sale. Uh, problem that I have now is that I, I have gouged it with my knife a couple of times. Now it's not 100% broke through, but it's really, really, really close. So um, you can sit here and you can, you know, take your your little knife and whatever you want to use. Maybe some chemical out there you can spray on it, but. I will say that is the cleanest one yet that I've got out, but I, I've, I've damaged it. So now I guess while we're here, I'll go ahead and show you a Sony. Makes life so much easier. So Sony's always held in with that goop that you seen earlier and then a piece of tape. The tape sometimes is a pain in the butt. Uh, I was going to come back with some goo gone and clean those and to save the shrink wrap. You know, I've got a ton of shrink wrap and uh, a bunch more coming. I apologize I wasn't in frame there. Let me move my, my trash box down here and scoop more in frame. All right, so here I'll take and I'll cut my bottom wire up here and go doop doop now I'm not for sure if anybody is taking the nickel and recycling so uh, give me so those off now remember those really sharp spikes I'll still come back and I'll ground those down I want, I want those as as smooth as possible A lot of people don't think that'll slice your finger open. I promise you, it will slice your finger open. So, in the meantime, I'll bring up the uh, stock. They are the Sony Samsung um, 18650 2400 milliamp hour cells. It comes two to a pack. They're $1.30. Like I said, this video is not sponsored. And you can see how many I've got here. Uh, that's what I've done today so uh, I've been taking my time I'm in the process of building a 14 s 28p I believe it is for around 3.2 kilowatt hour and uh, I'm just not sure how I'm, I'm going to lay it all out yet for the BMS uh, think about uh, doing some different things and I want to take these cells these are 2200 uh yeah they're 2200 but they're they're reading really high 2382 so uh, uh, these cells i just got in they're reading really really low so i've got to uh run them charge them uh, de uh test them uh decharge them charge them you know go through the process of uh doing uh the test i'm gonna see if i can recover the sales if not, uh, not for sure what to do. So, uh, but uh, my my little three-year-old son is back here in my shop, and he is just running around. So, I appreciate you guys for joining and watching uh, my uh, little DIY um, uh, battery harvest for my power wall. And check back, and we'll get into doing some power wall builds and uh, go over some uh, com uh, uh, inverters and some. Um, various charge controllers some solar panels uh, see what we can get into make sure to click that like uh, button and if you like what you see hit subscribe it helps me out like I said I, my channel is not monetized I'm just an average Joe out here testing products building things DIY helping people that's the main thing about what I like to do so uh, again, my name's Michael with It's Rig. Enjoy yourself.
to all the amateur radio guys 73 talk to you guys later